welcome back now we will discuss numerical on pulling load calculation by using psychrometric chart first we will see statement of problem a summer air conditioning plant mixes 70 cubic meter per minute of outside air at 35 degrees Celsius DBT and 23 degrees Celsius WBT with 210 cubic meter per minute of return air at 24 degrees Celsius DBT and 50% RH. The mixture passes over a cooling coil. Air of the coil is 90% RH. The room sensible heat factor is 0.7. First, find the apparatus dew point and air of the coil dew point and dry bulb temperature. Second, how much cooling in kilowatt is the unit doing? Third, how much of the total load is sensible and how much is the latent? First, we will discuss various conditions and processes on psychrometric chart of the given problem. So, in this problem, two streams, outside air, fresh air, which is 70 cubic meter per minute, Mix with the recirculated inside air of 210 meter cube per minute, and the fresh or outside air is at 35 degrees Celsius DBT and 23 degrees Celsius WBT, and its condition is given by 0. 0.0. The inside air is at 24 degrees Celsius DBT and 50% RH and its location is given by point I. These two streams mix together and the mixture location is given by the point 1. It is obtained on the basis of the masses. Uh, mass uh, of recirculated air is obtained by dividing the volume by specific volume and the uh, flow rate is 210 meter cube per minute upon specific volume 0.855 is the mass flow rate of recirculated air. Similarly, mass flow rate of fresh air is obtained by dividing 70 upon the 0.89 and on the basis of the proportionate of masses the 0.1 is determined. In the problem sensible heat factor is given which is 0.7 and it is denoted by F then the sensible heat factor point F is joined to the reference point R having dry bulb temperature 24 and specific humidity 50 percent and in this problem the reference point or allergen point is equal to the inside air condition. Now from the inside air condition I will extend the line up to saturation curve and that line RS is parallel to FR. But in this case, the reference point and inside air condition I are same. So the line is just extension of FI and that is RS. And at S, this line cut the saturation curve of psychrometric chart. Now in this problem, the cool air leave the coil at 90% humidity. So this is the line of 90% humidity which intersect this line SI at point 2. So intersection of these two lines 90% humidity and SI line gives the point 2 at which the cool air leave the cooling coil and the joy by and the line 2i is indicate 
room sensible heat factor line and uh, line 2 1 indicate the grand sensible heat factor line at 1 we have enthalpy 53.3 and at 2 enthalpy is 30 kilojoule per kg now question is to determine at this viewpoint temperature and it is given by extending the line 1 2 up to saturation curve and that extension line cut the saturation curve at h dash and the temperature at s dash is 8 degree so apparatus dew point temperature is 8 degree celsius then the question is to determine dry bulb temperature and dew point temperature of the air leaving the coil so air leave the coil at 0.2 so the temperature of the air leaving the coil is 11 degrees celsius and the dew point of this air is 9.5 degrees celsius mass of outside air or fresh air supply is mo which is total volume of air supplied upon 60 into specific volume which is equal to 70 upon 60 into 0.89 which is equal to 1.31 kg per second is the fresh air supply then mass of recirculated air mi equal to vi upon 60 into specific volume vi is 210 upon 60 into specific volume 0.855 which is equal to 4.094 kg per second the total mass of air is sum of fresh outside air and uh, recirculated inside air and uh, total mass of air is 5.4 kg per second the cooling load or total cooling load is m into h1 minus h2 total mass is 5.4 h1 from the psychrometric chart 53.3 minus h2 30 which is equal to 125.82 kilowatt sensible heat factor shf is defined as ratio of sensible heat load to total heat load so sensible heat load is equal to sensible heat factor into total heat load which is equal to 0 0.7 into 125.82 which is equal to 88.07 kilowatt which is shl now total heat load is addition of sensible heat load and latent heat load so latent heat load is equal to total heat load minus sensible heat load total heat load is 125.82 minus sensible heat load 88.07 which is equal to 37.75 kilowatt is latent heat load. Thank you.